Hello, Max. Yes, boss. Want to know what we're doing today? Yeah. We're going to learn how to do a pre-inspection for the SAAQ. This is an easy to learn, easy to remember, simple, easy. We're doing this because we're trying to make it easy for everybody and every, we know that everybody has their own way of doing the exam, but this is just a simple and easy way to do it. So first thing we start with is we open this door. Toolbox. The toolbox. Then you open the hood. This is before you instruct your instructor to, that you're ready. You come to the front. You instruct your instructor that you're ready to start. You go to the door. You go inside. You turn on the ignition. Turn on the lights. Turn on left flusher. Simple. You start with left le uh, truck and trailer level leveled on the left side, truck and trailer leveled on the right side. You say clearance okay, windshield okay, license plate okay, low beams okay, right flasher okay, parking brakes, parking lights okay, bumper okay. You go to the left. Uh, oh, and you say no leakages on the bottom. You open the hood. Gently, you go to the door, you say, driver's door okay, mirror support okay, mirror okay. You come to the engine, you say all components are okay. You start with chassis okay, master uh, leaf supports, master leaves, leaves, U-bolts, axles and shocks are okay on, the, on this side. You say inner wall, you go to the tire, inner wall okay, outer wall okay, threads okay. Rim okay, bolts okay, hub okay, valve okay on this side. As you're walking around, you say mirrors are okay, mirrors are okay. This side is a little more complicated, but you say all components are okay. You check the belts are okay. You say power steering box okay, power steering rod okay, power steering level okay, but you have to pull it out and check it. You do. Chassis okay, master leave, leave supports, U bolts. Leaves, axles, and shocks are all okay. Tires, inner wall okay, outer wall okay, threads okay, rim okay, bolts okay, hub okay, valves okay. You do the door this time. Driver door okay, driver signal okay, on mirror signal okay, mirror okay, mirror support okay, side signal okay. You go to here, you say, oh, you say, don't forget this, very important. Three triangles present, fire extinguisher present. You say all hoses are okay. You go to the fuel tank. You say fuel cap okay, fuel straps okay, no visible leakages. You go up here, you go with two cross members are okay. Two cross members, you say chassis okay, Leaves, master leaves, leaves supports, U-bolts, axles, and shocks are all okay on the right side. Then you say, chassis okay, master leaves, leave, leave supports, U-bolts, axles and shocks are okay on the left side. You go back down. Start, you go with the fifth wheel plate. Upper plate, lower plate, okay. Fifth wheel plate, okay. Pin indicator, okay. Lock pin indicator, okay. Valve okay, uh, uh, a handle, pin handle okay, sliding plate okay, anchorage and anchorage bolts are all okay. You do tires. Inner wall okay, outer wall okay, nothing in between. Inner wall okay, outer wall okay, rim, bolts, hubs, valves are okay on each tire for the first set of dual tires. Second set of dual tires. Inner wall okay, outer wall okay, nothing in between. Inner wall okay, outer wall okay, rim, bolts, hubs, valves okay on each tire, both tires. You go behind, you say, jaws are behind, are clamped behind the pins, 
You say two cross members are okay? Chassis okay on the left side. Shocks, balloon, balloon support, balloon plate okay. On the left side, axle okay on the left side as well. You say chassis okay on the right side. Balloon, balloon support, balloon plate. Axles and shocks are okay on the right side. Flasher okay, clearance okay, mud flaps okay. This is okay. Uh, landing legs okay. Upper chassis, lower chassis okay. All cross members okay. As you're going through, you say all cross members are okay. Flasher okay. Very important, hoses. Hoses are okay, are steady, are not touching the ground. You have to say they're not touching the ground. Bogey rail okay. Two pins are, are okay. These two pins over here. And then you go inside and you say, uh, suspension box, suspension arm, shocks, balloon and balloon plate are okay. Axle okay on the right side. You say, suspension box, suspension arm, shocks balloon balloon plate and axles are okay on the left side you go forward you start you go with tires inner wall outer wall nothing in between inner wall outer wall nothing in between threads threads are all okay rim bolts hubs valves okay on each side second set of dual tires inner wall okay outer wall okay nothing in between inner wall okay outer wall okay Threads, okay. Rim, bolts, hubs, bolt valves, okay on each tire. We do the same thing again. Suspension box, suspension arm, shocks, balloon, balloon plate, axle, okay on the left side. Suspension box, suspension arm, shocks, balloon, balloon plate, axle, are okay on the right side. Mud flaps, okay. Clearance okay. All clearance are okay. Left flash are okay. Bumper stickers are okay. License plate, okay. You tell the instructor you're going to the front, you're gonna check the brakes, turn on the high beams and change the flashers. Good. Good. Right flasher, okay. Side signal, okay. Upper frame, lower frame, okay. Bogey rail, pins, okay. Tire, inner wall, outer wall, nothing in between. Inner wall, outer wall. Threads are okay. Threads are okay. Rim. Bolts, hubs, valves okay on each side. Next set of dual tires. Inner wall, outer wall okay. Nothing in between, inner wall, outer wall okay. Threads okay, threads okay. Rim, bolts, hubs are okay. Valve is okay on each side. As you're walking around, you check cross members. Check them, they're good. Signal is okay. Go and Leg is okay. Landing leg is okay. You go to the fifth wheel. Upper plate, lower plate. Here you have less. So upper plate, lower plate, fifth wheel plate, sliding plate, anchorage and anchorage bolts are all okay. Tires. Inner wall okay. Outer wall okay. Nothing in between. Inner wall okay. Outer wall okay. Threads okay. Threads okay. Rim, bolts, hubs, valves okay on each side. Second set of door tires. Inner wall okay. Outer wall okay. Nothing in between. Inner wall okay. Outer wall okay. Threads okay. Threads okay. Rim, bolts, hubs, valves. Okay on each tire. Fuel cap. Fuel is okay because you have fuel on each side. Fuel, fuel straps. No leakages. Muffler okay. Flasher okay. Flasher on the mirror okay. Door we did. Then you close this up. 
close this up. Play gently, you say high beam's okay, and left flash are okay, and you're done. That so we did the outside inspection, now we're doing the inside inspection. First things first, you turn the ignition on. You wait till the lights on the dashboard go off. They're off. Turn on the, the truck. You fold these down. And you make sure that they stay down. You don't let them go back up. You make sure that they stay down. You hold down until they stay down. Okay, they're good. You bring up the RPM to around 10 because you don't want to waste time. And you, what you're hearing right now is the buzzer and you see the light saying for the air. The reason it's like that is because the pressure is below 55. You tell your instructor, buzzer and light is on because the pressure is below 55. And you tell them if the buzzer and the light are both not on, it's a major. If just the buzzer or just the light are not on, it's a minor. You then, you then start with your inspection while you're waiting for the pressure to go up, you go. Passenger wind, driver window okay, windshield okay, windshield wipers and fluid okay, driver window okay, beautiful. You go, steering wheel okay, steering column okay, horn okay, left flasher, right flasher okay. You do your defrost now. You turn on your defrost, make sure you say, defrost okay, no smell. You turn off the defrost, you check, make sure you say your, your uh, first aid is present, and you check your cheat, you make sure your cheat is, your seat is okay. You put on your seatbelt, you make sure your seatbelt is okay. At this point, at this point you wait a little bit, for the pressure to go up. You hear that sound, you hear that sound outside? That means at this point you turn it off, you tell your, your instructor compressor stopped at 120. If it doesn't stop between 117 and 137, it's a minor. You turn on your ignition again, and now you're telling your impressor, your, your, your instructor that you wanna check the air pre the brake the air pressure and the brake system you press the gas once down the the brakes once down you hold it and you tell your inst your instructor the brake pressure is uh the brake system is if it if it goes down between four and seven it's a minor if it's above seven it's a major and for the brake and for the air system you say if it goes down more than 20%, it's a major. If it goes down less than 20%, it's a minor. Right? Then you let go. You turn it back on. You bring the air down. Pump the brakes once, twice. You want to bring it to just above 80 PSI. And then you tell your instructor, I'm checking the compressor power at this moment. And you tell them if the compressor I want if the compressor doesn't reach at 90 and stays at 90 it's a it's a major that's it and then you want to check now the braking system of trailer and truck so you bring up you apply brakes to the truck leave the brakes to uh, leave release the brakes to the trailer put it on drive and you go Brakes are working. Then you apply brakes on the on the trailer, not on the truck. Press a little bit of gas. It's good. You bring both back down. You release both brakes. You want to check the emergency trailer brake. Hold it down. Go forward a little bit. It's okay. A little bit. Bring it back up. Now you want to check that your brakes are not locked and that your your trailer wheels are following the instructions of your steering wheel. You take this to your, your instructor, you tell him, I wanna check that my brakes are not locked 
and that my trailer wheels are following the instructions on my steering wheel. You are still on drive, you go forward a little bit, you turn left a little bit, turn right a little bit, you stop, you hold it, put it on neutral, and you tell your instructor, my trailer brakes are not locked, and my steering and my trailer wheels are following my steering instruction. You put it on neutral, you say brakes, then you touch your brake pedal a little bit, you touch your gas pedal a little bit, you say brake pedal, gas pedal is okay. <coughs> I am ready to drive. That's it, then you're ready to drive.